ship to customer account number and ship to customer site number just you can refer these values from your ui and try to populate the information otherwise in real time how will you uh, create this your invoice is nothing but before loading your invoices first you are going to load your your customers once you successfully loading the customers for the same customers your client will provide your your invoices okay so that all the customers should be exist in your system and they are referring the same site number for this invoices so that your invoice also successfully load into your application now business unit name we need you know navigation right transaction batch source name just we'll see the navigation from ui we need to find a setup and maintenance so we say in case of the invoices we don't need uh, any access set right no access set not required. only business unit okay because reference data set is associated with the business unit set business unit right so if you get any business unit access obviously we will get a reference data set access so okay. manage transaction sources in your setup and maintenance here these are you know transaction sources here just open any one source here type is imported if the transaction source is configured type is imported then only it is eligible to import the data from your ab data template just you can observe any others so here this is manual so it's not eligible this transaction source is not eligible to import the data from our ab data template the type should be in imported so now we we'll open imported this is imported one here this is type imported and here you can observe auto invoice options invoice line if any invoice lines are there reject the invoice accounting date in a closed period reject grouping rule something grouping rules they will create functional people and here the import information this is important for us import information sales credits customer and accounting here if you refer the customer bill to customer is enabled with value bill to customer is enabled with value and there is one more option id also if it is enabled with id then you need to populate bill to customer account number is your bill to customer id hz cust accounts cust account id if it is enabled with bill to customer with a value then hz customer accounts account number in your in your ab data template see here is your bill to customer account number if your transaction source is configured import information against your bill to customer number he is configured with id then here you need to provide you know cust account id if it is configured with a value then you need to provide cust account number so always when you loading the data or importing the data from a b data template just refer whether they are using values or ids 99% every transaction source is configured with the account numbers only nothing but the values so like this bill to customer ship to customer sold to customer payment method value customer bank account ship to contact ship to address and here payment terms value not id account flex fields always in each segments not ids invoicing rules so on so unit of measures so whatever it may be everything is enabled with ID, uh, values only and revenue account allocation percentage not amount here the way sales credit percentage allow sales credits when you when it's enabled with a sole sales credits then only you can populate the information in your in your ra interface sales credits are in your transaction source okay this is something transaction source and this is transaction type name whatever you want you can create you can use and its payment terms and transaction number here again you can observe here for the transaction source here for this transaction source the source defaults automatic transaction numbering is enabled okay nothing but we are not populating transaction number from our fb data template if this is disabled nothing but if it is not enabled then you can populate your invoice numbers here transaction numbers here you can populate invoice numbers okay it is enabled system will automatically validate the information and if you create your transaction numbers and last transaction number is so on so this value nothing but from this series it will create your transaction numbers and these are reference values not required here you can use bill to customer bill to site ship to customer and ship to site so to create an ar invoice the mandate information is bill to only not ship to based on your requirement here transaction line type is line if you want to populate tax freight charges you can use you know these information also for the same line if you want to create a tax 
just create a one line for line and create a same line for tax also and you can populate tax related columns in your every day sheet now this is line here just will try to add the filter here we are creating tax or not so here we have line tax here this is your one of the line and the same line we are populating the tax okay so greater that one now where we have transaction line this is your transaction line description this is currency code and these are currency conversion rate date type these are and this is transaction line amount and line quantity unit selling price and here the most important uh, logic here line transaction flex field context and followed by segment 1 segment 2 and up to we have 15 i guess columns are available for line transaction flex field context here line transaction flex field context and followed by the segments by using this combination okay let's assume for this cbl context for the cbl line transaction flex field context there are segment 1 segment 2 two columns are enabled two segments are enabled for this context right by using this combination okay by using this combination we are populating distributions here the same line transaction flex field context and followed by segment 1 and segment we provide the same combination here if you provide the same combination in your distribution sheet then your bda template or your ar import process identify there is a distribution record is available in my distribution bda sheet in a bda csv template sheet or in my csv uh, in my interface table the way it will create you know distribution second is your interface line the combination and this will configured by your functional resource and based on this we will try to populate the information okay, this context configured from the ui they you know uh, they will configure segment 1 to whatever it may be the unique combination they will create based on this we'll try to populate the data as a unique combination the same combination will use your distributions to identify the distribution for the line example here cbl something 855 is there for this 855 so up to this to here segment 1 is referring the same column and segment 2 is you know differing which is order line 1 2 3 4 5 30 up to 30 is there nothing but for this invoice for this invoice there are 30 lines are available they are populating 30 lines for this and here you can observe they are using you know, here legacy order entry is our context and they are using segment 1 2 3 and four combinations they are using to identify unique data this is legacy order entry remember this is your invoice number combination and one more context do context they are referring one more context in this context again they are using three combinations again the four combinations this four combination the first record is inv 1001 line 13 and 4 this is nothing but a single invoice and 1002 line 1 this is a single invoice and 1003 single invoice nothing but it's a unique combination now we'll see how they are configured this legacy uh, sorry line transaction flex field context from your ui against your ar aria interface line sol table just function resources will you know configure this manage descriptive flex field here manage descriptive flex fields name just you can type quick your table name or a interface your aria interface lines line transaction just edit this dff here manage context click on the manage context just search for our purpose i created one of the context which is like we are not there just to we'll see my token maintenance this is global search and here manage like search with our interface with our interface lines just edit this and click on the manage context here i was created one of the context legacy one of the context i was created in this context just added two attributes like you know attribute 1 and attribute 2 now we are using this context in your line transaction flex field context as a legacy and attribute 1 you can populate any value and attribute 2 is <coughs> you can populate any value let's assume here content 1 segment 2 
and your context is legacy segment 1 101 and segment 2 is you know something line 1 Just you know, uh, just make a unique combinations. So indirectly, this is for this segment one is always you know same because in this series one zero one has nothing but for this three transaction there is three lines are available for this single transaction segment one is unique and segment two is different. Here it's not a unique value, nothing but we are trying to create one transaction for this transaction I am creating. three lines which is invoice lines if you make like this 102 103 thing but here three transaction and each transaction does have only one line three transactions and each transaction does have one line it's clear right hopefully how we can use this context based on that function resources will enable the segments and these segment combinations will try to populate the information so we we don't have the grouping rules concept in Uh, cloud uh, grouping rules again you know it's uh, against your transaction source only uh, yeah but that uh, that grouping rule also is responsible to uh, club the number of lines into one under one invoice correct yeah whatever uh, you are created this transaction uh, context is there this context is you know as, uh, associated with your transaction source so that it will take it will applicable your grouping rules based on this context so this uh, this is acting uh, same as grouping rule yeah correct exactly okay you know group the data and <coughs> segregate data for each invoice and whatever you are created the context here against attributes these are you know <coughs> these values or these segments or attributes are not referring anywhere in your application these are always in a hidden position display type is hidden this is especially used to for you know importing the data these are not displaying anywhere in your application just we are using as a back end purpose these attributes and based on here value set i used cat 10 nothing but in you for a unique combination always you can use up to 10 characters only based on this it won't allow you know beyond 10 characters so this is something related to your combinations line transaction flex field segment 1 2 and whatever it may be so here in in oracle case oracle is created line transaction flex field context is legacy order entry and for a unique combination they are created enable four segments based on that they will try to you know segregate or applying the grouping rules okay and here this is the tax line for one of the invoice number this is invoice so and so invoice number this is line 1 and for that line there is a tax line and here you can find your tax information this is tax line and for tax we need tax related columns needs to be here something you know that something tax related information here you can observe the tax related here tax invoice number tax invoice date these are not required mostly you can use for tax resign code tax tax status code tax rate code tax deduction code and you can use taxable amount taxable flag tax exemption flag and if you use if you populate tax exemption then we need to populate these values and there is one more column here tax rate these are this one also we need to populate tax resign code tax name tax status and tax rate if you want to populate tax related information this is related to your er invoice lines and the stuff we do have some inventory related is for related p for related all flex field seg uh, segments are available here p rules p rules s rules all the information could be available and this is a very lengthy sheet this is invoice lines and the distributions a business unit we have business unit and here account class revenue freight tax receivable charges and bill and n mostly we are populating revenue freight tax and receivables classes when you use uh, when you create any invoice normal invoice then you can use revenue if you want to create a you know <coughs> credit memos so there could be a chance to populate receivable account because we are populating your negative amounts right so receivable amount 
if you want to populate tax related accounts they can use tax account class here you can provide you know percentage how much percentage let's assume for revenue i am populating 50 percentage and for the tax i am populating 50 percentage so that the mis amount could be split into two distributions same combinations same legacy order sorry line transaction flex field context followed by four attributes line shape and followed by four combinations like one two three and whatever it will be uh, against your chart of account setups other than this here we do not have any much information in distributions this unit and your account class and followed by your combinations followed by your code combinations this is something related to auto invoice try to create the invoice tomorrow okay we'll try to populate you know uh, one invoice with two or three lines and we'll try to create other invoices also. combination with the lines and with the different invoices if you use any debit credit memos transaction types for example if you use transaction type as debit uh, credit memo transaction type then always you need to populate you know <coughs> negative amount here negative where it is unit selling price and the transaction line amount should be in the negative somewhere here oracle is referring here just to get up here unit selling price and transaction line amount it should be in a negative if you want to create a credit memo invoice credit memo credit memo and for debit memo it's a positive because debit already positive debit memo if you want to create a negative credit memo invoice, just populate the negative information, negative sign, so that it will create a negative amount invoice to your application. In our extract, most of you will get, you know, debit memos, credit memos, and invoices most of the times. Invoices and credit memos in real time requirement. And most possible errors here will get like if payment terms are not defined. Okay? If payment terms are not defined, it won't throw any error. If here payment term is null, let's assume payment term is null, then what system will do? System will refer your customer against payment terms. Customer against, pay, against payment terms. So how will you identify customer against payment terms? Nothing but here, this is your customer, right? Right. Here, here they are referring payment details. Profile history. Here yeah, somewhere we have you know, payment uh, payment terms field is available for us. There we can use you know payment terms. It is this is not receipt methods. I use in the profile history. RA customer profiles. Yeah, RA customer profiles interface are we do have payment terms column. So when you populate information in this sheet, payment terms also gets created. If you are not provided points against your invoice in your BI sheet, it will take a reference of your customer against payment terms. If you provide payment terms here in your BI template, then it will override whatever payment terms you are provided. It will not refer your customer against payment terms. Okay. And possible errors again here, if you provide the wrong bill to customer site number, you may get errors and whatever you are in trying to import the invoices okay those invoice dates creation dates here yes. transaction date accounting date should be less than of your customer creation dates because it, let's assume today you are in, uh, importing the transactions but it's created in tomorrow's date greater than date so it won't allow to you know create your customers sorry invoices in that scenario you may get an error like invalid bill to ship to number invalid bill to ship to details but it won't populate a meaningful message like so and so date is not falling in this creation date simply it will throw an error invalid bill to customer invalid bill to site number and always in your error sheet whatever errors are there we are trying to identify your errors by using these combinations your legacy field context right by using this combination we will try to identify what are the errors against our invoice import for where we are identifying errors nothing but here in the schedule process it's itself when we submit stage to import auto invoice it will once import in auto invoice is successfully completed 
the child job import auto invoice execution report will be generated which is a BAP report. The BAP report does have the detailed information of your errors. Okay. Again, if you want to reprocess the data, reprocess the data, we need to purge your interface table data. In our interface table, RA interface lines all, RA interface distributions all table, we do have status column, interface status column is there. But Oracle is not updating interface status column with any value, whether it is status new, process and success error. Always it is in a blank status. The reason, always you need to, you know, parse the data before reprocess the data. Otherwise, it will keep on reprocess the data if data is available in your interface table against your business unit. For import auto invoice, we do have two uh, certain parameters. The important parameters are business unit and transaction source. In this combination, if data is available in your interface table, simply it will try to process the data. Here, there is no group identifiers and all. Okay, that's it for today. Before closing for today, any doubts?